because those who are in today's session going to witness our guru dr shekhar sir along with us so i request that sir sir yes yeah sir subodhan sir subodhan and welcome to each and everybody today and in fact it's my pleasure to be with this group subodhan sir and be here amongst them and hardly any distance amongst us yesterday we had a very good session regarding understanding of how the remedies come how do they really work and some of them must have already had a chance to come live on youtube and having said that tomorrow also there will be a real great session i believe because now what is happening is there is a lot of with progressive age with homeopathy and its understanding we are trying to put life into the understanding of the remedies what are these remedies basically trying to do why is actually human being not satisfied what is it that is something that is deeper inside that is actually bothering and we are so much in terms of collecting symptoms we are so much in terms of seeing the skin and its texture and its color and its time of itching and everything and try to find the remedy but we tend to fail to realize what is it that has actually surfaced what is it that has actually triggered in order to see this particular eczema or psoriasis or whatever has come man's needs have never ever come to an end and we have been always always dissatisfied with whatever we have and wanting something more and in this bargain we have various turmoils various patterns that is happening and emerging within us and it is a complex psychology what we call it as human being psych psychology a very complex one and so lot of things come into our mind at at any given point of time and that is what is actually narrated during the cases when we see and so we hear all these things during the process of our case take and many of us definitely even now if they think back they would think of a lot of remedies that are coming into their mind oh it could be this remedy oh it could be that remedy oh it could be something else and the reason behind this is that because we are not trying to see what exactly is the very center sometimes it might look like an animal sometimes it might look like simply a plant or sometimes there is some sort of ranunculus understanding other time we might say oh no it just doesn't look like ranunculus that person was hurt and injured it looks like composite and the idea that we we have with this even in our day to day life also we only look at bits and parts of the conversation and obviously as a human being we are in a hurry to answer or we are in a hurry to judge and that hurried nature of answering or judging or making some comment on a particular situation or on a particular talk itself 
is the biggest blunder that and what exactly happens in that is we are neither ourselves satisfied nor the person in front of us is satisfied because the whole conversation was only in bits and parts so my focus this entire year is to see to it that give a short short paragraphs and try to see what is the center in this particular paragraph the paragraph of a case a conversation of a doctor and a physician and work out on that what do you think could be the center in it there may be two three incidences in that paragraph itself but how does the person actually put that thing up like for example in some of the seminars i have given you this idea is it it is these two things make a huge difference is it is a question and it is is a firm confirmatory answer but see the flip of the words makes such a lot of difference so when the person is talking we forget and fail to realize this particular art of flipping the words and using it in the conversation we premeditatively think about oh this person must have said it in this way and therefore whatever the person wants to tell and what we have heard is east to west poles apart so i thought what could be the best instead of producing the long cases and finding out the remedy and finding out the remedy let us do this exercises from here on to see that one paragraph which has maybe around 10 to 15 lines and try and find out what is the basic core issue of that person who is narrating this entire paragraph and what am i supposed to see or maybe two paragraphs which has got a connection between each other and see what is coming up and then have something called a discussion on that so that what happens is our art of communication with others our art of conversation with others really becomes worthwhile because many of the times we are unsatisfied in the simple art of conversation we actually fail to realize what the person said and what am i actually taking back home and what am i taking back home is simply a baggage of words which is mentally physically actually having a turmoil on me because then follows why did that person say that what was the thinking behind that person that who said that and unnecessary that person had never meant that thing at all it was something completely different which we didn't even realize and so this particular turmoil is a turmoil not only in the psychological it is a turmoil on our hormones on our enzymes on our digestive system on our sleep system on every system of our body because boning has said whatever the turmoil is to a part of the body is part of the whole and therefore holistically we are unhappy and we are holistically unhappy it manifests on a mental plane physical plane and a spiritual plane and where did it begin it began because the conversation was not taken as a complete whole and so with this particular idea i think it will make a huge difference because i was just simply trying to meditate and think over what is happening with people around what is happening with us as a homeowners around what are we trying to actually do in our day to day conversation many a times i've come across a thing is said something and a person is taking something completely different and so in cases what happens is we miss a big time and therefore the results are finally affected the art of conversation now here on would be a paragraph or two and trying to find out what exactly is the thing that is happening in that conversation 40 pages cases and we are lost we are completely lost what is to be taken and what is not to be taken and many of them have this problem and they are trying to search for this problem they ask also sir how do we know what's to be taken in a case and therefore i thought probably people are finding it difficult to trace what exactly is the difference 
similarly with food that we all love we try to fail to find out what exactly is the ingredient that has been more or less for which this particular restaurant is really authenticated because every combination is good than compared to the others the reason behind it is because everything is proportional everything is perfectly fitting to give you the blend of taste so let us see the blend of the taste in the art of conversation how am i only then i even i understand the whole completeness of that particular individual then only i can elicit the completeness of the simple then only i can understand the completeness of the state of an individual only then i can match the completeness of that remedy that needs to be that needs to be treated in this completeness of this person if i am going to take it in bits and parts and today i prescribe belladonna tomorrow i want to prescribe something else the third day i want to prescribe something else is not the thing that will help not only to us but even to the patient and therefore the answer also that the patient will give you is in the form of being incomplete ah uh, somewhat i feel better why is that somewhat because a part of that remedy is acted which you prescribe no doubt it will it will act because we have thought of polyquest remedies so some part fits into that remedy the whole doesn't fit into the remedy because i have understood some part of the person not the whole of the person and when we are understanding some part of the person then we are trying to simply at all mingle with some things here and something there and fit something of this remedy something of that remedy and together we are trying to match everything for example if it's a plant remedy and the sensitivity of one one family and the reactivity of some other and what we are trying to do by giving the remedy is we are trying to make it still further disproportionate the sensitivity might get diluted but the reactivity might be much more severe or the person might tell you oh the sense the, the sensitivity has increased doctor but what i do i don't react that much why because your remedy that you have given has diluted a part of the react these are something which are very tricky to understand in our follow ups also and then we start feeling that the patient is better because at least the reactivity has reduced than compared to what it was before but we fail to real, realize that here boss the sensitivity has increased the person is what the person would be sensitive to certain part of tox once or twice in a in a week now is finding it every day what to do with that that means he is not at health because sensitivity and reactivity are equal equal and opposite and we have removed that equality and we have made it disproportional and the very fact that we have made it disproportional in our finding of the remedy we are now trying to see some part of the person's personality has changed and then we'd fail to realize even the change in that personality we fail, we might change the remedy totally wherein the remedy could have been either one of these two that you have thought of towards the sensitivity part or the reactivity part and therefore the sub class idea gives us a better position in understanding exactly where the person is the sub class idea gives us the idea that what are the group of order and the families under that order that fall in this sub class and then we try to find out is there something comparable to the other kingdom that fall into the same sub class type what we call as a super order and by understanding this we are getting into more clearer understanding of our address rather than wavering if we see for example the sub first class first sub class there is a lot of panic there is a lot of uh, threat there is a lot of fears but a similar thing is also in the sixth sub class also 
But if we fail to realize the proportionate idea of six subclass is very high. If you see those of Logana, say Solana, say Ambilifere, uh, Rubia, say all these people, the idea, the threat is too big. Whereas for the first subclass, the idea is the threat is very small, trifle things. Give you the idea of being touchy, oversensitive. Unlike the first subclass, who give you the idea of being very touchy, very sensitive, oversensitive. So when we start understanding this dif differences in as part of the conversation with the patient, we realize what exactly is the person sensitive about. Then we realize, ah, this person is oversensitive, slightest thing. So my thought about Logana CA or Solana CA or Rubia CA or Ambilifere will not be there. Even though the person is telling trembling. Even if the person is telling I'm shivering. Even if the person is saying I'm, I'm frightened, I'm dead scared. The person might use the word dead scared. But the dead scare is about what? What is the stimuli for that dead scare? And what is the person trying to do? Is the person trying to attack, defend themselves? Is a sex subclass. Is the person trying to simply withdraw into, go into the shell? Is something to do with the first subclass. So here you see the idea of being sensitivity and the reactivity and the idea of stimuli. How big is the stimuli? What is happening to the person? gives us a clear indication of what am I trying to see. This is just an example, dear friends, because I do not want you all to wander around even in, in spite of having a good case taken. Finally, the assessment of the cases. Where Hanuman clearly says that the physician sees, hears and then remarks. The then remarking also is important. Not only seeing an observation. Seeing an observation, we might polish over a period of time. But the idea of then remarking also is important if we are not able to remark it properly. With our other senses, what exactly is happening that we have missed out? Because that's a three-legged stool of the 84 aphorism. The physician sees, hears two legs, and the third leg is, and then remarks with other senses. And if our other senses are blunt, then we probably might again fail and that that stool will definitely again wobble. So the idea is very clear over here. What I wanted to give you all the message today is before the lecture class could begin. The idea was all about what is my role to play. In this art of conversation. What am I supposed to do in this art of conversation? How relaxed my mind should be in order to let my senses be very alert. How the art of keeping my senses alert is something that I am planning, planning I have done. And I'm going to do is in the forthcoming and a couple of uh, uh, gurukuls in, in, coming, in near future this year. The idea of how to keep our senses intact. And maybe some of the exercises that we would do like how we did the painting exercise, making our own self aware about the surroundings. The idea of how am I going to be passive yet alert in the in the art of conversation? I will remain passive in the sense I will not think. I in the sense I as a physician, whosoever it is, will not think. But will perceive through our senses. Clearly as it is. So that. Whatever information my radars of my senses are gathering. Will implement only those things in the cases rather than my thought process overpowering these radars. And so therefore what will happen is. The beauty of this conversation in its completeness will bless us. I hope we all have taken this particular idea and we will all together collectively work on this so that 
not only in cases that our, our conversation is complete, but also in our day to day life where we have so much amount of frictions with people around. So much amount of misunderstanding with people around. Or sometimes we are not happy with some person who is so close or so near and dear to us. What is the thing that is happening? The idea when we try to focus on those issues where I'll make each one in that exercise, which is the upcoming uh, Gurukul to try and bring that person who is of utmost problem for you. Yet close. It is like that chewing gum, which neither you can swallow nor you can throw out. So let us try to find out the flavor of it. Let us try to find out the issue in it. Let us try to find out, am I understanding or thinking about it in that way? Or is it as it is that it is coming? Once I'm clear about this idea, once I'm clear about this thing, our misunderstandings, our thoughts and whatever we reflect upon what has been told to us or what is the conversation will definitely minimize and life will be beautiful. Practice will be beautiful. Our results will be much more better than what we have actually thought of. So homeopathy is not only to have our daily bread, but it is also to have a good life for us and the people around us. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. It's a great pleasure. Really a great pleasure. God bless, God bless all of you all for this wonderful work that you all are doing. I'm so impressed by all the participants and you and we are for organizing such wonderful thing. Janvi Madam, see there getting up early in the morning, seeing the sunrise. So it is such a wonderful thing. Basically, because this is what we exactly need. And we are so much, so much in, in that, you know, in that unhappy state, in spite of being blessed by all, everything that we have. I always think about those people who do not have some part of the body, who do not no, who do not have the basic square meals. We are far blessed. Then why should we be unhappy? Only because there is this big time problem that I cannot understand certain people in our life. If we try to throw light in that aspect, what is it that I'm not understanding? What is it that I'm missing in that conversation? Is it my mind that is thinking or is it actually the thing that is happening? Once this is the light is thrown on this, you see miraculous. And that is where my entire focus now will be. Have two paragraphs or so or one paragraph or so. and try to find out, give that other homework, find out what is important in this. Once we are starting to have bits and parts, small, small, then we think about the whole case. Then our idea becomes much more clearer. 10, 15 lines paragraph, give it to everybody. Find out what is important for the person. X, Y, Z is a person who is trying to tell this to me, me as an individual, as an individual homeopath. <clears throat> and then see from there what exactly is happening. So once we start mastering from one or two paragraphs, we'll master the whole case or we'll master the whole conversation. So the idea is let us take small steps eventually towards the larger concept of understanding a human being. Till today we were do all doing whole case and debate on the whole case and one picks up first paragraph, other picks up third paragraph. Someone says at 20.23, this is what the patient said. So I was thinking that each one comes up with one time of the case and debates on it. And there is no connection. So let us develop this connectivity in a smaller version of a paragraph and see what is the connect connection and what is the communication that I and that paragraph is doing. And finally, how am I going to converse with that particular paragraph? I think that could be a real good exercise. So let us join in for this beautiful understanding and progress from here on for all that is happening within our mind, that conflict and the, and, and the idea of turmoil that we are facing. 
and eventually it percolating down into our system. So hope so that will work and let us see how it will work and how it goes on. Along with that, we'll do a couple of exercises also. So we also go through that thing and see how it affects us so that we understand how it must be affecting the other person also. Right. So thank you. Have a good day. See you all tomorrow. Sir, great regards and uh, for your blessings <laughs> today. Everything is happening. See, God's wish. Yeah, yeah. Today yeah, the yeah, class exactly. was there, also there. So I said, let us come on, join in and yes. speak a few words because we all are growing together. Yes. And I want all of us to grow together rather than simply go through life. <laughs> right? Okay. okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. And